Hi, we I've already recorded the phone message, which is right here. So it says saved phone recording, and I did that by just simply picking up the phone and dialing a number, which is provided for you once you join. It is your number, and it has an ID code that you also key in. And they prompt you the entire time while you're doing it. So the reason why I say save phone recording right now is because I haven't given it a name. So as soon as I hung up and I saved that recording, this is what happened. It's right here. It gives me an ID number. It says, has it been published yet? No. It gives you the date and the length, which is only one minute and seven seconds. It also tells you how many kilobytes or megabytes that it takes. So I'm going to click on this recording and now I have the option the view it, edit it, history, replace, or publish the audio. What I chose choose to do at this point is to give it a name. And so if I right away, because that's going to help me quite a bit. So I'm going to put down intro to intro to video. Now I can always change this but by doing this, it helps me. So let's go back there, intro to video. Sorry, I had my head down and I hit a button to make it change screens. It says publish, no. But when I do publish it, I'm gonna put down that I'm gonna publish it on babyboomersbustinloose.com. So it tells you right there, put down a URL. Actually, I could do it now, but I'll wait until I actually publish it. Is audio active? Yes. I can save my changes right here. I just wanted to go ahead to do that step to show you. Now, now I want to view the audio. I'm right here after I hit save and it says intro to video. I can press it. I want to make sure it actually recorded. Hmm, what does it say? Now know that I had several prompts where I could have decided I don't want this. This is horrible. But after two tries, I decided to keep this one. Now I notice that I have two options here. I can publish the video audio or I can download it. And if I download it, it'll be an MP3 file. Now on the right, it tells me other good stuff and, and which is really cool because I have it's going to give me prompts the entire time. And remember, one good thing about Baby Boomer Audio is that there's training constantly. I, mean, I think about once a week there's a training session, a uh, wonderful teleseminar that's given. And the guy is awesome, David Barrett. He's just wonderful. And I actually have attended the class a couple of times, sometimes as a refresher, and also because each time it changes. There's more new information, new enhancements that they're doing. So in this case, I want to publish the audio. I'll click on that. I want to publish it for the website, but I have options. I can use the save settings. I can publish it for email. That means I can put a link in the email and send it out to people. I can publish a download link, which means that I can send it and people can download it and put it on their sites if I wanted to. But I'm going to publish it for the website. So I click this right here and it gives me the option of choosing a player. What kind of player? Now there's a lot of different players I can choose. And in this case, let's go with the heart. Oh, I like the hearts, and so I can get the hearts here. I go to the next step, and that's the heart. That means I can hit play. I can hit pause, and if I hit pause, it'll go back to where I left, or I can hit stop altogether. So, let's. I'm hitting stop altogether. And it gives me another couple of options here. The one I want to concentrate on is the color. And I can click right there. 
and make it the kind of color I like. I love red. So the foreground color I'm going to keep, make it red. I'll keep the current color they have here. Now those of you who know a little bit of HTML, which can be dangerous, is wonderful. But when you know a lot, I mean, it's like really exciting. But meanwhile, I just found out and started learning about the HTML codes for the color. So I actually, I can cop, I could take this out and actually write in whatever code co for color I wanted to. Or you can just go with what they have. But I have an option here to preview the color of the link. And a nice and bright red. I like that. I can change it. It's not a big deal. But right now, I'll leave it as bright red. I can also make it autoplay on load. Now, autoplay on load means that as soon as people come to your site, you'll start talking. That can be a little challenging if they're in an office cubicle and people hear your voice, regardless of how good it sounds. Know that. I do have an autoplay on one of just my main website, and I'm thinking about changing that. However, for the most part, you probably want to keep it at no. Will it loop? That means it'll just play over and over again. Secure site or MP3 download link. That means if I choose to, I can make it so that people can actually download this link. But I'm keeping everything as, as no. I can. I already did a preview. Do I want to save my preferences? I can if I choose. In this case, I'm not. I'm going to generate the HTML code. Now, this is where it gets just so exciting. It's just a matter of highlighting. I just actually highlighted it manually, but you can click this button. I can right click and copy. Or if I had wanted to, I could have gone up higher at the browser and clicked on edit and then copied it from there. At this point, I can now go into my site and put it on the blog. And I actually have the blog open here. Okay, no, it's not open. So what I'm going to do is actually save that for the next video and where I'll have it open. And I'll actually show you how to place it directly in your blog in something called widgets. And remember, widgets are wonderful. Let me hear you say it.